Hey, second graders. Have you been talking about center view expectations? Thumb up if you've talked about center view expectations. Yeah. Can somebody share with me an expectation we have at center view? Yes. An expectation that we have at center view is to walk in the hallway, not run. Right. What about you? Um, to be quiet in the hallway. Yeah, so being quiet is a level of our voice. So have you learned the voice scale? Yeah. What is a level two voice going to sound like? Oh yes, you're right. It is whispering. You probably couldn't hear it because she whispered saying that. How about a level one? And you can tell me what it is, what that sound should sound like because this one is hard to hear. Okay, how about a level three voice? What's a level three? That's what we call like our inside voice, right? Mm -hmm. We can all hear each other. And then we have our level four and level five voices. And those ones we're only going to use when we're outside or if there's an emergency, right? So we probably won't hear those at school. Those are some of the expectations at Center View. Another Center View expectation is that we know how to take a break. And taking a break can be super helpful when we're feeling upset or we're feeling sad and we just need to get ourselves back to the green zone, which is our focus zone, so that we can learn best. So I am going to model for you what it looks like to take a break. And we're only gonna practice one part of take a break today. We're just gonna practice what it looks like when the teacher asks you to take a break and what it looks like when you come back, okay? We're not gonna practice any strategies that we're gonna use at take a break. We're just really focusing on what does it look like when I go to take a break and what does it look like when I come back, okay? So I'm gonna model for you first, and I want you to just watch what I do and think about what do you notice Mrs. Luzo is doing when she goes to take a break, and what do you notice Mrs. Luzo is doing when she comes back, okay? So here we go. I'm a student here, this is my seat. And the teacher asked me to take a break. Watch what I do. What do you notice? Lots of hands. Okay, what did you see? Could you say that a little louder so everybody could hear you? I heard you and that was spot on. Okay, did you guys hear her? Oh, she said that I did not run or stop my feet, I walked over there safely. Okay, what else did you notice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I argue? No. No, did I refuse to go? No. Mm -mm. Nope, I just quietly stood up and walked on over. What else did you notice? You didn't yell. How are you? Um, walked quietly and didn't make any sounds. Okay, just walked quietly, didn't make any sounds. What about sometimes you might have your teacher tell you to take a break, but you don't agree, you don't think you need a break. Do you think that would ever happen? Yeah. Maybe sometimes. What could we do if that happens? If your teacher says, take a break, but you feel like you don't need a break, what can we do instead? Um, instead, you could maybe just try to calm down and do different things with your hands, or if there's some kind of ways to calm you down. Could try that. Could we just go take a break, and then after, when there's a better time to talk to your teacher, you could go up and say, 
Can you tell me why you asked me to take a break? I didn't feel like I needed it. Could you do that? Yeah. So no matter what, if the teacher asks you to take a break, we're going to calmly and quietly walk to our take a break spot and then quietly and calmly walk back. Okay. I am going to give you a chance to model it. Does someone want to show us? They think they know exactly what it should look like and sound like to take a break and they want to show the class. Okay. What's your name, sir? Cruz. What is it? Cruz. Cruz? Cruz. 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 Nice to meet you. Okay. So Cruz is going to model for us and you're going to do the same thing you did before. You're just going to watch and listen. Think about what do you notice Cruz doing, and then we'll talk about it at the end. Okay. know when it was a good time to return to his seat. Because he thought about what, what he did and what was wrong. Okay. How else did Cruz know it was a good time to return? Because he told him to do the best he wanted. Mm -hmm. okay. And then when he did return, what did you notice? What happened when he returned to his spot? all going to get a chance to practice today. And we're going to practice when you really don't need a break. Okay? We want everybody to know what it feels like to take a break when we're feeling calm. So when you're doing your win activities, I know Ms. Anderson showed you a new math app that you're going to be using, and you have some other um, learning that you're going to be doing during this time. And we're just going to ask you to take a break, and it will look like just what I did with Cruz where I asked him to take a break. He was already calm, but he was practicing what it feels like to go to take a break and what it feels like to come back, okay? So when we come and ask you to take a break today, it's probably, you probably don't really even need one, you're just practicing, okay? 